water here at Skogman Lake. First time out. I already found some nice depths, some nice lily pads. A little bit out of the wind. The DNR survey was interesting on this lake. After you scroll through all the net data, they've got a size distribution. And usually, you know, you see a lot of those uh, fish in the, I don't know, 12 to 14 inch range. They had one fish and it was between 20 and 24. And that's all that was listed on that. So that kind of drew my attention. Hopefully there's more than one big one, but oof, 20 inches a nice largemouth. There we go, that's our quest and our goal today is to find that DNR 20 to 24 incher. All right, so if it's bigger than 24, it wasn't the one the DNR found. <laughs> My big hope is that um, part sticking out towards deeper water. But, we're going to fish all the areas in between. It's just nice to be kind of stealing a day here when it's been a windy day. This is a long skinny lake and uh, there's a whole west shore that should be okay to fish. If that sun starts changing its angle, I think we'll have a better chance at some frog bass. I'll pull off the point and stay back in this area and throw it up to the deep side. hook set but all right that looks like a decent fish too our first Skogman Lake bass that is a nice fish go. Alright. It's got a little bit of weight to him. Sixteen and a half. There we go. Like I said, this area sticking out the furthest I was out with my cousin's husband, Steve, and we found that too on Clearwater Lake in Annandale. It seemed like they were hanging out where the reeds stuck out furthest towards the deep water. Nice to throw right down the structure so you have a cast that's in the strike zone for longer. But don't crank it all the way down because there might be multiple fish. So do shorter casts, and that way if you get one here, the one that's down a little further will still be there. Don't forget about the middle part, especially when it's sunny out. There we go. Sail them right in. Fish number two on Skogman. That's the way to do it. Getting some out of the lily pads. Nice to get a couple on the board right away. 
you never know what to expect with a cold front and a lot of wind. Nice. All right, we're here on Skokeman Lake. The landing is straight across and we've already got two bass in the boat and one pretty nice one. I would say this is a good first stop and I'm hoping down to the north side of the lake we're gonna have some of the same. We've got uh, lily pads and about five feet of water dropping off to some deep water. There we go. It's amazing how fast these fish are going off to the bad frog. Let's sped it up a little bit. And that guy bit. Nice. Kind of sensed some movement in there. So I buzzed it across. And this guy missed it. And within a second he came back and got it. Awesome. Quietly back off, and hopefully that fish will give me another chance at him. Wow! There we go. and you miss them. And then when you come back and get them, sometimes they're not so monstrous. If it's the same one, it looked like a five pounder. But it is still a nice fish. There we go. He hit it like a champ. He's been eating too. He's got a big fat belly. Got a little bit in the gills. There he goes. That was cool. So I'm casting up shallow to the to the lily pads. And I noticed some some weed sticking up out here, so I threw out here. That's where he was.
say that that bass wanted it. <laughs> fish all right wow he came all the way out of the water that is a nice fish eighteen inches on the dot There we go. Still haven't found that 20, but that's a nice fish. Sometimes video doesn't do it justice, but that fish came all the way out of the water and did a flip. I mean, he just hammered that frog. Right off the edge. I was hoping as we got down this way and it got a little bit shallower, might get some action. We lost a big one. We got a 16 and a half, a couple of smaller ones, and now an 18 incher in the boat. There we go. Big one. Nice. There we go. He kind of showed himself and then he came back. Nice. Got him out of there. That's a good fish. Man, what an impressive size on this one. I don't think he's our 20 incher yet, but we'll take those all day long. Wow. Three pounds, six ounces. Nice fish. What a sunset bass. That's a 
good way to end the night. What a night. There we go. Chunky guy. Alright, I'm here in Cambridge, Minnesota, finishing up my night. It's my first time out here, and what a blast. I was able to catch 8 to 10 bass on a frog, lost a monster, all the ones we lose are monsters, but I will definitely be back. In fact, I'm thinking about coming back tomorrow morning, depending on how the weather looks. I want to give it a try for some panfish. Sometimes I mention it in my videos. I think about all those February, January days that were so cold and the winters being so harsh. But man, we have some beautiful nights here in Minnesota in the summertime. I hope you're enjoying some beautiful nights on the water. I hope they're biting for you. Hope to see you on the water next week. Thanks for watching.